Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, I'm gonna talk about how to do progressive summarization in Rome. And this video is gonna be one of the 28 lessons in my brand new course, Zettelkasten in Rome. In this course, I show you my systematic note-taking process to capture the best ideas I find from everything I'm consuming, like books, articles, podcasts, and so much more. And because of that, I'm building my creativity inbox over time, and then I'm able to use my Zettelkasten to create new original content for articles, courses, or videos like this one. So the course is divided into four core modules. Part one is about capture, where I go over how to create notes to save the best ideas ideas from the content you're already consuming. Then part two is all about how to organize your notes for better discoverability in the future. Part three is called refine and we go over how to make your notes more valuable. And then finally, part four is create, where I show you how to use your Zettelkasten to create new original pieces of content. And I've also included lessons in an intro section on how to use Roam more efficiently and the one hour masterclass as a bonus that will get you up from a complete beginner to an expert in Roam quickly. So that's basically two courses for the price of one. So yeah, you can get access to the entire course catalog, all 28 lessons, there's a link in the description. So go check it out if you want. If not, here's how to do progressive summarization in Rome. All right, let's talk about refining your notes. And what we're gonna talk about is progressive summarization in Rome. Now, the idea here is that you're gonna take a specific note and make it a lot more valuable by deleting anything that is unnecessary in your Zettelkasten and by adding a little bit more context to a few blocks here and there. And to show you this, I'm actually gonna do the page of Show Your Work, the book by Austin Kleon. So for example, the first thing that I see here on the top is the title of the book which was when I exported the film clip, automatically added. So I'm gonna delete that. And also I have the contents. Now I like to highlight the table of contents because then it's gonna help me when I'm refining my note when I'm doing progressive summarization to know what part relates to, but I don't want it in my main note. So what I can do is I just create a new page. Let's just say table, open this on the sidebar and then copy all of this there so that I have it as a reference, but it's not on my main page. And now I can just do this to see all the chapters. Right, so I have the table with all the contents. So I know there are 10 chapters and there's an intro. Now, normally I'll also highlight the title of the chapter. Unfortunately, you show your work, the chapter titles are actually images, so that's not possible to highlight on the Kindle. So I've got my Kindle next to me to make sure that I'm dividing this by the chapters that I want. So the first cleanup that I wanna do is making sure that everything is divided by chapters. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I can use my table here on the side. So I know that this is the intro. I can select it and then I do command two because this, and then I'm bold it actually, because I know that this is the first intro. So anything that falls into the intro, I wanna push it, for example, this sentence a little bit so that it falls under that block. So let me do that for everything. And a quick tip here to make it easier to separate these chapters is just look at the last words of your last highlight on that specific chapter and you'll be able to tell. And then you can do command F and find what you're looking for and you know that's the end of that chapter. So I have the intro, let's do the first chapter. All right, so I finished organizing this with all the chapters. I can actually delete the page table. So let's open that page. Delete page, yeah. And go back to show your work. Now I'm able to select this entire text here. So from the beginning until the end, just click collapse all. And you'll be able to see all of the chapters. And this is something that I highlight it at the very end. And now I'm able to edit to do progressive summarization on each chapter on its own. Instead of thinking I have to revise all these notes, I can instead take it bird by bird, just invoking another creativity book. And basically you can go into the chapter that you feel that speaks most to you or that you like the most and just do that one first if you don't have a lot of time. So for example, think process not product might be something great. So I'm gonna summarize this one. And the first thing I'm looking for is what can I delete? What doesn't make sense in this overall thing or that I'm not gonna need in the future? And I can even decide to make things shorter if I think that the author spent too many words describing a concept. So here he's talking about sharing your day-to-day -day process can form a unique bond with your audience. So that's literally what he means. And he's talking about the internet and how you can do this at no cost. So I can simply go here and say, share your day-to-day -day process to form a unique bond with your audience. And I can delete all of this. And then why human beings are interested in other human beings and what other human beings do. People really do want to see how the sausage gets made. Can delete that. And this is all related to the same idea. So share your journey could be actually title of this section. And then I can input that below that section. Now I'm gonna do this for the rest of the chapter.
All right, so I just spent a few minutes organizing the notes on this chapter in basically two buckets, the share your journey and the become a documentarian. Now, the part of progressive summarization would be to bold, to highlight, and to make sure that this gets compressed in as few words as possible without losing the context. So let's do that. Now, I like this sentence, so I'm not gonna delete it, but I am gonna hythalicize it and then share your journey, which will be the first sentence. This creates unique bond with your audience. All right, so I put italics on the quote, put bold here on share your journey because it creates a unique bond with your audience. So I wanna do bond with your audience, actually wanna highlight as well. So what I can do is command HB and that highlights and bolts. You see the work you're doing more clearly and feel like you're making your own progress. Let's highlight that. Now, one of the annoying things is if you're trying to highlight a specific part within a bolt, it will show like this. So what you wanna do is actually close the bolt here and then start the new bolt here, that it's gonna close there. And also that part, bold it and highlight it. A little bit annoying, but if you wanna do like a specific part like that, so for example, write your thoughts on a notebook, you can just do Command HB, and then you'll highlight and bold that specific part. But if you want just a little bit of that part, then you wanna take that part, for example, let's just do the word notebook, move this here, but you also got to close it there like that. In this part, I don't want anything, so I can just remove that. So this is the first part of progressive summarization. You take a part, in this case, a chapter, you go through it, you try to find buckets in common, and you go and create bullets and blocks within those buckets. Then at the end, once you've done this to your entire note, in this case, all 10 chapters, you might decide that this is a very useful note that you want, and you might want to do an executive summary at the top, which you can do like H2, like that. And you just write a little bit of what you want here. So for example, think process, not product. You can actually write the title of that. Think process, not product. Share your journey to create a unique bond with your audience. Actually become a documentarian and share your journey to create a unique bond with your audience. I think that summarizes the entire chapter of the idea that he's talking about there. And you can do this for all the chapters. Now, another layer that you might wanna do is adding tags as you go along. So for example, creating a unique bond with your audience or share your journey is something that I might wanna talk about in the creator's journey at some point. So I'm gonna add a tag there on the creator's journey. And also on become a documentarian, I actually wanna bold that. I'll probably do creator's journey there. So now when I go into that page, creator's journey, I'll see that it's referenced here, share your journey. And I'm able to use that in a later period when I'm doing a video on how the creator's journey came about and what you can do, for example, if you're in the beginning, what you can do is share your journey, become a documentarian and think of all the ways that you're showing your work and not the finished product, just the way the process that you're using to create that art. And finally, the last layer that I wanna do is connect these ideas with other ideas you've come across. So for example, shoot video of you working I own this backpacks by Tom Bitten, and they actually have all these videos where they are showing basically how they work. So let's see that now. They're talking about the materials. They, they, sometimes they show also the factory. They talk about the people that work there. Then do random stuff like throwing the bags out of like a skyscraper or having a Hummer go over it. And I think that's really cool. So because of that, I'm gonna do a note to myself. This reminds me of Tom Bin videos showing their factory and the people that work there as well as the random, um, I'm just gonna call it experiments. They do to show how durable their backpacks are. Or for example, in scrapbook, take a lot of photographs of your work. Maybe this is an idea. Maybe I could do this as I am recording a new YouTube video, the entire process. Then I'm gonna add a tag there for idea because that might be something that I wanna do in the future. So if I go into ideas, they'll be like ideas that I've had, random thoughts, eureka moments as I was reading something. So that is the entire process of progressive summarization of your notes. And just by doing this a little bit every day, you'll be able to make your notes more valuable over time and overall improve the value of your Zettelkasten.
So hopefully you'll learn a few tips and tricks on how to make your notes more valuable in Roam. So for me, my primary use case for Roam is my Zettelkasten, but I also use it to do so many more things. One of them is to use it to do my weekly reviews. So if you want, I have a video specifically about that. All you have to do if you're so inclined is to click here to go watch that video right now. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.